Hello there, and welcome back to my next episode of my Subnautica Let's Play. In the last episode, we watched the Sunbeam um, emergency rocket or whatever being completely obliterated by this building, which is actually a cannon. So, that was fun. Um, yeah. We opened this weird door here, the... the force field control thing yeah and it's a little interesting in here so we're gonna have a look at that first thing but yeah that thing creeps me out a little bit we just we witnessed a complete explosion of a rescue vehicle so yeah okay i'm gonna see if there's anything to scan down here um but yeah that's Weird technology. Can't imagine anything to actually find this practical. I feel like that's gonna be an interesting thing. Something that we have to look at. Is that a door? Okay. What's that thing? Ion cube? What's going on? This thing is bigger than expected. Data terminal. Download data. Language. Attempting translation. Okay. Anyway, what's that? Pick up Ion Cube. I don't feel like I should do that. Okay, only way Analysis is back here. The walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic. Or functional. Further data required. Okay. That's another download thingy, I think. Nothing. Okay, another ion cube. Oh, I can scan it. That's... Should have done that with the first one. Alright. Inventory full. Oh, come on. I'm gonna drink a little bit and eat a little bit. Alright. Let's pick up that thing as well. Can't drop anything here, so... A little limited in what we can take with us. And download that. And move along, I guess. Oh. I don't trust that. Oh boy. I think my distrust is justified. What the hell is going on? Okay then, uh, force field control, okay. What the heck is that? Is there a force field down there as well? That's gonna be some, something like a bay for a submarine or something, right? Okay, we can just swim through. But that thing definitely wasn't open before when I checked it out in the first episode where we had a look at this um yeah this thing is weird okay i can get up here let's see that looks like an opening another one of those rooms looks like a maze don't really want to miss anything because if there's something important or anything helpful I don't want to just run past it, but okay, there's another ion cube. No idea what to do with those, by the way, but mm, yeah, I don't know. What's that? I can scan it though. Alien rifle. Why is it floating there? That's odd. A little bit concerning too, but haven't seen any an aliens or something like that yet. Other than those teleporting thingies, but I don't know if those count. They're just probably monsters. Inventory full again. Seriously? Do I really need to go outside again and leave some things? Oh, God damn it! I'll be right back. So, where were we? Up there. Another tablet. 
What's that now? Alien device. Could have guessed that, but it's not very specific. Doomsday device. Oh, okay. As far as I understand the language, doomsday device means something that can blow up everything. So I'm not, not a big fan of that. Okay. I think there's another way down below us though, so I'm not gonna go through here right away. This way, I believe. Or is that where I came from? No, no, this is different. This is definitely a new room. Alien Arch. Oh, that's a big one. Is it a, is it a teleportation, like, portal thingy? Looks like it, but... There's a lot of history and lore in this game. Which I have no idea about and no clue if it's gonna get explained, so... Yeah, we'll just <laughs> run along with it, I guess. Okay, so... I assume there's not gonna be anything down here. Nothing that we need to watch out for. Okay. That's probably gonna be the important part. What's it gonna be? I've seen clips of this thing, I think, so... Okay, I'm gonna scan it first. But I'm a little skeptical of what it's gonna do to us, or what's gonna happen. Let's see. Interact. Yep. That's not good. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, okay. Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Interesting. Interesting about the lore. Okay. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Okay, more info. I think I'm gonna have to read that in a little bit to explain what's going on because I've got no idea. And I don't really see anything we can do around here right now at least, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and head back and hopefully. <gasps> Hopefully we'll have some answers and, yeah, something to do here. It's a little curious, a little weird, but it is very interesting and very, very intriguing. Back into this weird thing. We're just gonna get Scotty, beam me up. All right. At least it's smooth. So as far as I understand it right now, without having read anything, this planet um, has been quarantined, quarantined because of some infection. Uh, some pandemic maybe. And apparently, uh, judging by the fact that there's none of any animal species around here, um, they probably didn't quite make it, and I'm curious if you're gonna see any corpses or skeletons or anything like that. Apparently the weapon is also intended um, to be something of like an assurance that there's nothing that can um, get in and get infected or get out and... Uh, carry the infection further away. At the end of last episode, we also saw a Leviathan. I think it was called a Reaper Leviathan. And those are really damn dangerous. And I hope we're not gonna run into that uh, with our Seamoth. Because that thing can take us apart really quickly. And I'm not quite looking forward to that, you know. Oh, down there is another one of the alien-looking thingies. It's gonna teleport, isn't it? That thing's been 
shining all the time, I think. I don't like it when they do that. Where is it going? Is it teleporting? Is it invisible? I don't know, but it's freaking me out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, let's just hop back in. I hope we have a little bit of energy left. 51. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, and let's scoot along. And those are the good leviathans. Those are the reefback leviathans, and they are friendly. They are peaceful, just chilling, and just swimming through, and just not doing any, uh, not causing any issues. I planned on taking some of those reefs, but I don't have any space in my inventory left, so that's not gonna happen. All right, here we are. I've got no idea what to do with those ion cubes. I'm really interested in what we can fabricate with that. Oh, we have a new recipe with the ion cube, which is a purple tablet. It's really expensive, and we do have a couple of those. Oh, what the heck is that? Those are creepy. Okay. Anyway, um, we've got a couple here, and I think we had one more in our storage, so I don't know why we... I don't know why we'd, we would really need that many of those. Alright then, with that we should... Oh, what's that? The equipment? Oh, the tablet. Yeah, we don't really need, we don't really need that yet. All right, we should have everything we need to build that thing now. Not sure how it works, but I... Oh, is it in here? No. Can I build it in our habitat? Is that how it works? Let's see. Yeah, that's how it works. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna try to do this as space efficiently as possible. There we go. Let's build the thing. There we go. Deconstruct? No, thank you. Let's see what we can build. Ooh, a lot of things. Okay. Magnetite, interesting. Alright, I think we're gonna be occupied with getting all of those upgrades in this episode after this. Alright, let me quickly pin a couple of things that I want to make. Alright, those three are the ones we can currently make as it seems. Um, modification chamber, vehicle upgrades, how do we do those? I'm curious how to do this, because I'm very interested in the Seamoth storage module. That might be really interesting and useful. But yeah, let me first of all get everything we need for the current ones. Alright, I think I should have everything I need now. So let me quickly craft the silicone rubber sheets and then we should be able to get everything we need here. Uh, I crafted those already, and here we go. So, now if I go inside of here, Welcome aboard, Captain. I should be able to do that, right? Ooh, that looks interesting. I'm not sure what I need it for, but we have it now. All right, let's grab that and let's get the tank out of here as well and craft that one too. All right. That's given us quite a bit of an upgrade now. Cooks and sterilizes small organisms by immediate consumption. That's, that's very useful actually. Alright, how do we proceed? I think 
I think we might be able to expand our whole uh, thingy here a little bit. So uh, for that, I'm going to need a lot of titanium. So let me quickly gather some of that. All right, I've got a little bit of titanium now. So what do we start with? I think I should probably build something that I can grow some plants in. So maybe multi-purpose, maybe observatory. I'm not sure yet, but let's first expand this a little bit. And then I do feel a little bit like, can I rotate? Nice. Like building one of those things. So let me quickly just place it right here. Nice. And now let's see which one. Can I cancel? Deconstruct, yes. Let's see which one of them would be. Okay, that's a big one. That's a pretty big one, yeah. I think we can use that one. Maybe. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Okay, if you say so. All right, can I put a hatch in here everywhere? I basically can. Let me put it here. Do we have enough power? Seems like we do. Alright, it's not really necessary, but I do just simply feel like it, so I'm gonna put one of those things here. What do I need for it? Yeah, for everything I need, I think. Is enameled another version? Is it like other version? It is. I need stalker teeth for that. Alright, that's gonna be interesting. I don't know if I already have one of them. But I guess we're going hunting. Did that drop one? Does it work like that? I don't know if it does. Let's head back and let's try again. Stalker teeth, stalker teeth, stalker teeth. I've killed a beast. And for what? Nothing. I'm afraid I might have to wait with that. But let's continue with our quest to kind of widen up all of our base. We will definitely need a fabricator and quite a bit of other stuff. Let's start with a grow bed, because that's what I made this room for in the first place. One over here and one over here. A couple lockers, just to have enough space for everything. And this is starting to look nice. I don't have anything to plant yet, but we can find things. Alright, let me quickly check if I have anything in here that I can plant. Doesn't really look like it, so how about we head to the island and then we can plant some stuff, some f vegetables maybe, some things to eat. Here we are, and let's find ourselves some vegetables. Now doesn't that just look delicious? Let's pick everything we can get here. Oh, that takes up a lot of space. Then, let me only get one of each. Alright, that should be a little more. Can I get something of those? Nope. Alright, I have a 
think three different plants I can get food from. Those are probably not very uh, nutritious, just just some flowers, I suppose. So I'm gonna head back somehow and I'm gonna see if I can kind of uh, plant some of them. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can do with those. Switch container. Let's plant one of the lantern fruits, one of those, and one of those. And I guess let's do that as well. Alright. Well, that's quick. Well, that's cute. Alright then. Um, I suppose, though, we should probably leave it at that for today. I think this is looking promising, and so far, I am not quite sure. What? What in... What just happened?